Constitution and Bylaws, James Burgess from Idaho, Glenn Parker from Maryland, Christian Kramer III from Kansas, Greg Jones from Maryland, Carlos Arambola from Indiana, the Resolutions Committee, Floyd Watson from Wyoming, James Bogan from California, Warren Tobin from North Dakota, and Danny Oliver from Oklahoma. Last special projects, Dave Spurgeon from Arkansas, Chad Richmond from Alabama, Pamela Beal from Alaska, and Marilyn Smith from Arkansas. Would Commander Dempsey and National Adjutant please join me for a presentation? On behalf of the State Commanders and Adjutants Association, I would like to present you with two donations. The first is a check for $100 in honor of our immediate past president, Rita Alberic from Virginia. And the second is a check for $1,500 to the National Service Foundation from the Commanders and Adjutants Association. Thank you very much. Have a good day. As of now, the registration of delegates is closed. I would now like to call for the final report of the Credentials Committee. Thank you, Comrade Commander and Delegates. This is the final report of the Credentials Committee and reflects the total registration as of 10 a.m. this morning, 8-25-2009. There are 1,224 delegates, 22 alternates. This includes 45 departments, 471 chapters. There are 18 national executive committee men and nine past national commanders registered for a total of 27 national officers. The total vote is 8,739. At this time, I would like to extend my thanks to all the committee members, and I would like them to be recognized. Please stand up, everyone, on the Credentials Committee of this year. Thank you. And we would like to extend our appreciation to our advisors, Michael Dobmeyer and Tony Baskerville, Without them, we couldn't have done anything. Thank you. <laughs> Comrade Commander, that completes the final report of the Credentials Committee, and I move for its adoption. Thank you, Don. Mike May, I, may I have a motion to approve the uh, report of the Credentials Mike Committee? Mike two. Mike one. Mike two. <laughs> Mike one. Mike One, Warren Tobin, uh, Department of North Dakota, Chapter 31, proudly uh, makes that nomination or make that motion. Thank you, Mike Two. Mike Two, Robert Linder, District 16, Chapter 20, California State Commander. I make a motion to accept a second, rather. To um, I make a second. All those in fa favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. So ordered. It must be noted that at this time, I am not discharging the Credentials Committee yet. We may still need them. Now I will call on Dennis Joyner, Chairman of the Nominating Committee, for his report. Thank you, Commander. The National Committee a nomination of national officers was called to order for its first business session on August 22, 2009, 
by committee advisors Jean A. Murphy and Richard E. Marbs. All members and alternates were present. And at this time, I would like to just thank the committee for a lot of hard work and interviewing of all the candidates. It's a committee that doesn't just get to meet one time, but we put in uh, a lot of hours. The first order of our business was the election of a convention committee chairman and secretary. Dennis Joyner was elected chairman, and Frank Williams was elected secretary. The committee met again on August 23rd and August 25th. Ten candidates were interviewed for national office. The following candidates were nominated by the committee to serve for national office. For the office of national commander, Roberto Bobby Barrera of Texas. For the office of senior vice commander, Wallace Wally Tyson of North Carolina. For the office of first junior vice commander, Donald Samuels of Tennessee. For the office of national second junior vice commander, Larry Paulzine of California. For the office of national third junior vice commander, Mary Pennsylvania of New Jersey. For the office of fourth national junior vice commander, Joseph Wayne Johnston of Ohio. For the office of Judge Advocate, Michael E. Dobmeyer of North Dakota. And for the office of National Chaplain, Dr. Charles W. Edwards, Jr. of Texas. Comrade Commander, this completes the report of the Committee on Nomination of National Officers. On behalf of the Committee, I move for the adoption of this report. Thank you, Dennis. I will now call for a second that the report of the Committee on the nomination of national officers be adopted and the Committee be discharged with a high vote of thanks. Mike, Mike three. three. Mike Three. Samuel Luna, Chapter 9, the great state of Texas, seconds that motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. You have heard the report of the Committee on the Nomination of uh, National Officers, and you have nominated Roberto or Bobby Barrera for National Commander. Here to second his nomination is our past National Commander, Armando Albaran of Texas. Thank you, Ray, and good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. National Commander Dempsey, National Adjutant Art Wilson, National Officers, Delegate, and Guests. It is with distinct honor and joyful pride that the 20th District, the Department of Texas, seconds the nomination of Roberto Bobby Barrera for the High Office of National Commander of the Disabled American Veterans. It is my great pleasure as well to enthusiastically second that nomination of a friend and American hero to this esteemed office. Bobby is a combat disabled Vietnam War veteran who served honorably in the United States Marine Corps. He suffered serious facial burns in the loss of his right hand at the wrist and his left arm at the shoulders in an enemy bomb explosion. But when the enemy of our nation exploded that bomb beneath the armored personnel carrier in which Bobby traveled, they did not end his life. They made him even more determined to live and to inspire others as well. Bobby has received too many honors and awards to recite at this time, but they include our own. Outstanding Disabled of the Year veteran 
for 1998, the live presidential unsung hero award for 1998, the disabled veteran of the year for the state of Texas in 1990 and again in 1998, and the Department of Defense outstanding employee with a disability in 1997. A native of the Lone Star State, Bobby Hales from Del Rio, Texas. He is a life member of Chapter 5 in San Antonio. He earned his bachelor's degree in psychology from St. Mary's University, and later, while teaching in Del Rio High School, went on to earn his master's degree from Saul Ross University. <laughs> 